everyone. Hello. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mitch. And I'm Mrs. Mitch. And today, uh, after a long break away, we've had about four or five weeks break from uh, YouTube videos. We had some difficulties um, you know, with health and things like that. So anyway, we're back. We're at the we're at Tumo Park. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be meeting up with a group of um, three young people uh, who we featured, actually we featured two of them in a video yeah. about or oh, maybe six or eight weeks ago, I can't remember. Yes. Um, they did a research project on the, um, uh, the effect of uh, Wi-Fi rays on human cell cultures and um, it was, it's a, I was so fascinated by it. Uh, we did our best to try and help them. Mm -hmm. um, so we did a YouTube video on that. And, and thank you very much for all help us. Yes. All support us. And uh, through other donations they received mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, with the help of the channel uh, mm -hmm. they managed to get all of the, yes. Um, yes. the money they needed yes. to, for four of them to fly over to Tour in uh, Paris and France. attend a, um, a conference there we'll tell you about that in just a minute so um thank you all for for watching uh for tuning in you know what mm. we're not hung up about subscribers uh, likes and uh this sort of thing anymore uh, we yeah. also tried to start a patreon well we did start a patreon page um that turned out to be unsuccessful because of the exorbitant fees that are taken out by the time we got together about 110 US dollars, we received about 65 or 70 dollars um, uh, in our bank account, uh, and it was just that's ridiculous. We thought it was unfair on people. Yeah. Um, we've just taken the pressure completely off ourselves now. We're just going to do videos um, which we want to do, yes. uh, not to please anybody, not have any kind of uh, pressure as well. But we yes. still want to show you as much as we can. It's really difficult for us to get out into the villages now because so we're on one wage and uh, it's, it's, it costs a lot of money for fuel and stuff. Without any further ado, we're going to introduce you to um, these uh, three young people. Uh, one that you haven't met before, uh, Mane's uh, brother, mm -hmm. and uh, they're going to tell us all about their, uh, their trip to, to, um, to France. Welcome everybody, welcome from those that came from all over the world. So everyone, uh, I'd like to introduce to you once again, uh, Mane. Yeah. Mane has completed her first year of uh, her medical degree at the Yerevan State Medical University. Uh, her friend Maher, uh, Maher is in the same course yeah. as uh, Mane. And another Maher, Maher is, I don't know, your third year? Uh, I'm starting my fourth. Four, you're starting your fourth yeah. year at Yerevan State Medical University. So we're going to be talking to them today about uh, their attendance at the Febs 2023 conference in uh, Tours, France, which they were able to go to a few weeks ago, yes? Yeah. About three weeks ago? Yes. Yeah. So um, who would like to tell me something about the research project that you, uh, that you presented at uh, the FEBS 2023 conference and maybe you can actually say something about what FEBS is. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, so 
I'll start with our research project, mm -hmm. which is titled The Influence of Wi-Fi Rays on Human Cell Cultures. Mm -hmm. And we particularly examine the difference between cancerous and non-cancerous cells. So this is a very important issue. As we all know, Wi-Fi rays are a very controversial matter in our society. And we, as a young researchers, wanted to make that matter clear and really find out what influence Wi-Fi rays have on human cell cultures. So we have these results which indicate that they really do have negative influence, they make our DNA damaged, they make very stressful conditions for our cells, and we wanted to further uh, deepen our study mm -hmm. uh, when we found out about FEPS conference, mm -hmm. which is a, a very renowned international congress for biochemists from all around the world. Mm -hmm. What does it actually stand for, FEPS? Well, FEPS, uh, it's very ironic because ironic it stands for Federation of European Biochemical Societies, mm -hmm. but researchers from Asia and uh, United States and uh, wherever they come to participate in this Congress. So it's really an international Congress mm. where we could share our uh, results, our methods and get a uh, piece of advice from uh, serious professionals, professors and other, uh, other researchers. Mm -hmm. There were four representatives. There's one person not here and that was yeah, your teacher, mentor, your yeah, teacher. Mentor. Uh, from uh, Yerevan State Medical University High School, is that right? School, yes. yes. And what was her name again? Uh, she, uh, her name is Rubina Harutunia. Rubina. Yeah, mm -hmm. she was helping out uh, since high school and uh, was really, uh, she's an exciting teacher. Inspirational. Insp inspirational teacher, yeah. yeah she was always uh, inspiring us and helping us uh, to do our research and gathering ideas. Mm -hmm. So we are really thankful to her. Okay, how did you raise the funds to, to get to the FEBS conference? Yeah, we uh, found out about uh, crowdfunding, that we maybe could do crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't really expect it to work, but we still thought maybe this is the last way to mm -hmm. do it, so we tried it anyway. Yeah. So, uh, fortunately it was successful and uh, not only from our friends and relatives, but also from many other people that we don't know. Uh, we got uh, a tiny and big amount of support. Surprisingly, we have a wonderful scientific community in Armenia. Yeah. As uh, w uh, when we looked at the list of people who donated, we saw a lot of uh, familiar names. We know that they work in, uh, in different institutes and uh, universities. So it was a very, very like happy fact for us. Yeah. yeah as we knew that uh, this thing is really possible yeah. and we can rely on the scientists in Armenia. They yeah. really do care about the uh, young generation. That's really good to know. Uh, after we did uh, the video with your help uh, to ask uh, for uh, support, uh, just on, on that day and starting after uh, the video, uh -huh. uh, when the video was posted, we already <laughs> saw the support and quite much. We were really excited and happy to see that we got support after just posting the video and it uh, was continuous. Yeah. Uh, we're not sure there were many people anonymously, yes, without yeah. name, but uh, mm. we are sure that a lot of people uh, knew about us uh, with your help after seeing the video. Mm. Uh, yes. We're very glad that uh, we we're able to, to really play some you. little role in uh, enabling you to get yeah, there. Sure. What would you like to say to all of the people who donated uh, to help you get to? Yes, uh, we are gr uh, very grateful them uh, to helping us and uh, especially very uh, glad from the uh, Molecular Biology Institute and uh, of the doctor of the uh, director of the uh, institute, Arsen Arakilian. Uh -huh. uh, they uh, do a really great job for us uh, and help us uh, more than anyone else. Uh, so uh, we are uh, very grateful for that uh, all of the people who support us mm -hmm. uh, in which way they can. It's the really uh, yeah. great very job. Very good. Many people uh, I know uh, supported us from America and huh? uh, from that's great. Yeah, from uh, other places. Uh, there are some people we know their names. Some are anonymously. We still want to thank everyone yeah. who supported us and cared uh, uh, about us and made this opportunity possible for us to participate in this uh, uh, congress. That's so great. I, I understand that. 
it was almost until the week before you left you, yeah, you yeah. checked the GoFundMe page and you received all of the money that you needed yeah, to get even there. just a bit more just a bit for more. like hundred uh, euros that's fantastic a bit more. So that's really good we thought we wouldn't manage to gather all the money until the day we left mm -hmm. but uh, with the help uh, of all of you it became possible for us yeah. so yeah, thank so you thank everybody you. for for your generous support so okay we are on our way to France had a tours in France. From Paris we took a bus uh -huh. uh, which uh, took us to our city, to our destination. Finally we got to our little apartment. After that the morning uh, mm -hmm. was our free day because the conference started after that day on the 8th of uh, July. The 8th was a Sunday, yes? Yes, I guess mm -hmm. Sunday, yes. Yeah. So we had a time to travel and tour and mm -hmm. explore the city to uh, get f familiar with a place, yes. uh, with different shops, with mm -hmm. food, croissant, so we, ate croissant. <laughs> we ate lots of croissant there. Now let's talk about the conference itself. Uh, you were explaining to me it's not like an oral presentation, it's more like a poster presentation. Now what does that really mean? Um, it means that uh, there's this hall mm -hmm. with uh, stands and there are a lot of posters just uh, stick to the with physical posters, electronic yes. posters, no, or physical posters. Physical. We printed our poster, uh -huh. put in in a long bag, and we carried our poster to the hole of the poster presentation. We just sticked it to the wall. Okay. And the thing is, just it's like a wonderful experience. As a lot of people, a lot of scientists just walk around. They yeah. look at posters, mm -hmm. and whichever interests them, they just approach the poster, read it. Yeah. And if they have any questions, they ask the author about it. Who is standing right next to the poster? Mm -hmm. And uh, during our poster presentation time, uh, we had the opportunity to tell about our research to a lot of new scientists from different countries. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was there were two professors from Korea from India who gave us a lot of uh, critique constructive critique uh, which uh, we didn't think about it and I think this is a wonderful part about poster presentations as people may ask you questions uh, that you've never thought about we did our research on just cell cultures mm -hmm. which means they are plain cells in a petri dish mm -hmm. uh, and the professor asked us what about uh, organisms like multicellular organisms like uh, people like uh, animals and we couldn't uh, really interpret our results for these organisms mm -hmm. so we couldn't give him uh, an exact answer so this is like a new perspective for us to yeah. do a new experiment mm -hmm. this time not on cell cultures but for example on mice and after pro poster presentation and before that there were also a lot of lectures mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, about different topics and uh, many uh, famous and uh, experienced scientists were uh, telling about their research project that mm. they were they had done and mm -hmm. they were currently doing how different methods they had uh, how many different uh, ways and techniques they use mm -hmm. uh, how many different ideas they had it was really amazing to uh, know about so many uh, ideas and exper uh, experiment mm -hmm. uh, methods yes when you came back yeah. from the conference maybe I'm jumping a little bit ahead of time here but you met with uh, one I think professor yeah and uh, uh, he's very interested in, in helping you, is that correct? Yeah, so when we came back, uh, we met with the director of Institute of Molecular Biology uh, and he was very open to, for us to conduct our uh, experiments in the Institute of Molecular Biology and we have, uh, we have actually new students joining us mm -hmm. uh, from high school uh, who are very passionate and motivated about research so I think we're gonna have some new experiments and new posters to present next year uh -huh. and we have actually learned about uh, more opportunities which we which can help us uh, different grants uh -huh. that the uh, FAPS Congress is actually providing there were a number th of things that we didn't know before FAPS and yeah. uh, we learned about them during FAPS hmm. so we can use them to participate next year it was a really really uh, positive experience for you all we actually managed to win some, something huh? <laughs> we managed to win uh, a cup oh really yeah actually it was <laughs> it wasn't just uh, serious scientific uh, topics and uh, cancer and stuff 
it was uh, also like uh, games yeah there uh. were some parts that include uh, different games uh -huh. uh, of course in um, scientific ways mm -hmm. but there were also many funny parts uh, during uh, coffee breaks ah, that good. happened we could get uh, we uh, could speak to different people to mm -hmm. different uh, scientists and they were all uh, very happy and very excited for the competition in those games and uh, we were trying really hard uh, every day were some kind of like competitions uh, for example uh, we like, had to like in paper write many scientific words mm -hmm. so like, uh, were, like rearranging uh, the letters we had to get a scientific uh, term yes and then there was this treasure hunt oh, that's where good. we had to go to a place and then scan a QR code and answer questions and go to another oh, place that's fun. and yeah after a lot of hard work we managed to win a uh, treasure, treasure Hunt Champion Cup. Yeah, he won it. <laughs> Re really? Yeah. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. And Mahir also won. There was, there was a game. Uh, he also won. Uh, oh. He had to put uh, a bottle. numbers. <laughs> Yes, you, you can you can <laughs> you tell us about yes that. Uh, I win a battle it's uh, with the name of Fabs uh, it's I win uh, with the words uh, uh, scientific words which I write uh, in the uh, right way uh, yeah. that's uh, very good the way I win it <laughs> that's fantastic that's fantastic did you um, make any contacts with people that you're going to kind of be in some sort of not necessarily collaboration with but you know future talks with maybe yeah sure so uh, currently we're in contact with a participant from Korea also a girl from uh, Ukraine and mm. also two professors that uh, two of uh, other professors that approached us uh, we're also in contact with them and one of them uh, right during the conference uh, already sent us some papers mm -hmm. that we could already start uh, examining yeah he also did uh, immediately did some research and uh, uh, sent us the papers and oh, the wow. other uh, jury told us to be in contact and if we have any uh, ideas and any uh, uh, need to get some advices we can contact them and many other participants from India from uh, Hungary I guess also yeah, I told us mm -hmm. South Korea. So we're in contact with them yeah. and uh, also with the organizers mm -hmm. of FEPS. We managed to uh, speak to them during the different events mm -hmm. and uh, they're very open, they're very, very happy. So we can apply for next year and uh, get like a grant for participation fee mm -hmm. for students, yes. Okay, fantastic. So the next step uh, for you now in regards to this project are further experiments is that correct? Yes. We might be looking for some mice thinking about the whole setup of how we're gonna put them near Wi-Fi devices. But it's very very important research I mean you have to do this on living organisms right so yeah. um, to, to see what the effect or non-effect would be some other students has all, uh, have also joined us, so we mm. uh, may also have different other ideas to yeah. start new projects. Uh, but as well, we will continue with our Wi-Fi project and mm -hmm. uh, get more precise and uh, better results. So anybody listening to this, uh, you know, maybe you're in the science field and uh, you might also have some ideas that uh, you'd like to share with uh, Mane and the two Mahers. <laughs> we have three girls, right? I guess. Oh, three of them. Yeah. Three. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we're uh -huh. not sure of one of them, but hopefully, uh, uh, three will uh -huh. join us. They're graduate. One of them is uh, graduating from school. Yeah. yeah, has already graduated, and she's starting her first year in the university. And the other uh, two girls, they're still in the twelfth grade of high school. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. So everyone, uh, we really hope that you enjoyed uh, this video and uh, uh, the experience of these young, marvellous young Armenian uh, uh, people who uh, did such a great job and represented uh, Armenia actually in a most wonderful way in, uh, in Tour France. So it's bye from Mitch. Bye, bye from my head. Bye bye bye. <laughs> Bye from me. Thank you very much and bye.